We got in an argument. Welcome to the fourth installment of my UK EU tour diaries. This week, we traveled to Milan and Rome. At this point in our trip, I was exhausted. I'm so tired, I can't do this. And stressed. So I decided to make it my goal to relax and have some fun. Trying to hit me with things. Look at this ball of gas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like struggling to make topics of conversation. I'm trying so hard, but like, I just end up asking the stupidest shit. We'll ask them anything slightly pertaining to anything local. It's just... We learn so much from our own tour every day. We're back here again, trying to fix this. So magic's um, hanging up everything. It's not my wardrobe. It's paper towel was part of it. Wow. We got pizza. That was too free and vegan. <laughs> made it to our hotel in Milan and it is so like Italian. Italian. Oh my god, there's like a big ass bathtub. This is like the big ass bathtub tour, I don't know. Like look at how Milanese this is. It's like kind of old, but like I kind of adore it. We're having the late night pizza and watching the Bling Ring documentary. Played a good show. He's getting so mad at me, but I love him. Good That's job. The first time you said that to me. Not true. Yeah, I, I said it right after you got off stage. Show me the video. Hello. Love you. Love you. <laughs> the next day, we headed to the train station, only to find that our train to Rome was delayed. And by the time we would be able to get there, it would be way later than expected. This was stressful. However, we were able to switch our tickets easily. We made it to Rome, stopped at our Airbnb, and then rushed to the venue for sound check. Skinny boys. <laughs> I'm waiting for the visuals to hopefully transfer onto a what's it called? Flash drive of someone who works here because it is just not. It's not working. Oh my god, I'm so tired. We're so tired. It's the third show in the room, and I'm tired. And there's just a lot of weird stuff I'm feeling. Like, I can't go to the green room for various reasons. That's hard on me, but we're pulling through. I want to connect to the Wi Fi, but that means I've got to go to the green room. I don't know, it's just complicated. Anyways, so Magic got Pachoy Pepe, and I got just garlic and olive oil. Here, just angle it down and then you won't have to. Just stand over there. You can crop me up. Can you dance on stage with this tonight? See it. <laughs> now you don't have to edit me. And my chance to relax and so I set out to explore with that goal in mind. We're going out. It's our day off in Rome. Got my Prada, Mary Janes. Cause Mary Janes are having a moment also. I just kind of wanted to wear them. Fuck my camera battery. Uh. 
We started our day by walking to the Vatican, which was close by. We didn't feel like going on a tour, so we decided to just look around. Sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak. <laughs> Afterwards, we got gelato and then headed to a vintage store that my friend recommended called Humana. We got a few things and then started the 15 minute walk through back streets with small cafes, clouders of mopeds, and abrasive barkers to the Trevi Fountain. As expected, the fountain was so busy, so we didn't stay, but you don't have to be there for too long to be touched by the fountain's vast beauty, and it ended up being my favorite thing that we saw that day. From there, we decided to test our stamina by walking to the Spanish steps which were nearby. By the time we got to the Spanish steps, we were hungry, and despite the fact that Italians eat later, we decided to take an Uber to a gluten-free restaurant called Mama Eat to eat dinner at 5 p.m. Explain this day in a few words. Tourists, we saw stuff, it was nice. Now we're gonna eat some really good food. We got in an argument over um, battery. a battery, maybe. No, there was. it was not about the battery, it was about miscommunication. Yes, it was. <laughs> kind of. It started with, we forgot the battery for the phone. But our phones are, what is yours at? 14. The restaurant is able to make anything lactose-free, so we split two dishes, a pesto pizza, which was amazing, and pasta with seafood. In our post-meal state of euphoria, we decided, even though it was supposed to rain, to try and walk back to the Airbnb. As we were walking through the busy streets filled with music and life, I couldn't help but notice that everyone around us seemed to be relaxed and having fun. This was interesting to me because this is something that I never see in the U.S. It's like he was had a speaker in there. Yes, I was listening. <laughs> I like checked his arm and see if he was holding one. <laughs> it wasn't long before we started to feel a few raindrops and eventually decided to just get an Uber. Everyone in the entire city must have also had the same idea. And after several drivers canceled, we ended up waiting in the rain for one to finally get us. This time. By the time we got to our Airbnb, we were drenched but happy. I woke up the next morning relaxed. We checked out of our Airbnb, went for a coffee, and ended up stopping at a market before heading to the airport for a flight to Prague. That concludes the fourth part of my UK EU tour diaries. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Next week, in the final segment of this series, we head to Prague, Stockholm, and Helsinki.